Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Eddie's Toy Box and today we're going to be taking a look at number 158 from the Pop Disney line, Jack and Vampire Teddy, the New York Comic Con limited edition exclusive. So, side of the box shows you the concept art for these two gents here. As you can see, not much has changed. Um, Jack has uh, like an egg white look to him there and he's kind of like tingy yellow here but then that's the same back of the box shows you some of the other pops from the nightmare before christmas line we've got jack skeleton holding the snowflake sally holding the um rose which these two are both hot topic exclusives then we've got the pumpkin king then we've got nightshade sally and then we've got jack and vampire teddy um there are many other nightmare before christmas pops out there not just these, we've got Oogie Boogie, the mayor, we've got regular Jack, regular Sally, Day of the Dead versions of Jack and Sally. You've got Zero, you've got Chase Zero, you've got Glow in the Dark Pumpkin King, you've got the Metallic 3-pack, and I can go on and on, but you know that Nightmare Before Christmas has a lot of pops. And with the, um, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Love it, love it, love it. I think Jack was one of the first pops I got. He wasn't the first pop that I got that... Uh, but he was one of the first ones I got. But I had to have this one. You can get this one available now at Hot Topic. Now, my Hot Topic got in about like 30 of these, and I'm not exaggerating. So he should be easily obtainable if you have a Hot Topic near you. You should have no trouble getting Jack and Vampire Teddy. So don't pay outrageous prices just yet because um, there are Hot Topics and... Obviously, obviously there's hot topics, but you should be able to get one. And if you can't get one, maybe you can find someone nice enough on Facebook at one of the Funko groups like Popping Off About Funko to help you obtain one. So, now, this version of Jack, there's not really anything different for him than what we've already seen from his past incarnations. Except he's got this goofy grin, um, which I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, I mean, I like that it's different, Um but, again, I'm not too... Um, it hasn't grown on me just yet. Um, we'll take a look. He's got the, you know, the skeleton face. The grin where he's missing some teeth. Um, I like that, you know, the protruding eyebrow, eyebrows here. I mean, he doesn't have eyebrows. He's a skeleton. Um, but I don't know what... Uh, they've, they've used this paint on Jack for his arms and his head. It just gives it that, like, kind of like a... Uh, a bonish, uh, a, a yellowish color. Um, I don't know. There's some people out there that wouldn't prefer him to be more white, but that's the route they went with it. Um, body mold, same mold as uh, the past editions of Jack. So he's got on the the the, the kind of like the Jack Skeleton suit here, coat with the buttons. He's got the the bat bow tie here. Um, Take a look at the back, the coattails that go off in different directions here. The detail on his skeleton fingers. Take a look at that. Um, I'm surprised they didn't give this guy a clear base. I don't know if you guys have any Jack Skeletons, but some of my Jacks won't stand. Just like some of my Sally's won't stand. But he has so far, he stood up on his own. Time will tell. But look, he's at his arm up for a high five. Good job, Jack. Um, and then this is the Vampire Teddy Bear. It's one of the toys that the um, residents of Halloween Town make and give to the kids. And as my um, middle son will explain, because he saw this pop earlier, and he was like, Daddy, that's the Teddy from the movie. And they give it to the kids, and the kids get so scared because it's a monster. Yeah, that's what this is. Take a look. He's got his little cape here, which is folded down, which is pretty awesome, as if he's walking and gliding. Um, Detail-wise, take a look at the face. Red smile, yellow eyes with the pop, you know, pop pupils there. Little ears here for the teddy bear. All the way around, the detail's pretty great on him. So it's good that they've included him as a mini, just like they do with the Disney princesses. Um, you know, Princess Tiana and Naveen, Rapunzel and Pascal, um, Mrs. Potts and Chip. But if you still can't get your hands on one of these and you just want little vampire teddy, I do believe he's coming out as a pocket pop. Um, and I don't know what they can do differently as a pocket pop that isn't already here. So, yeah. And there's not many paint flaws on him either, which is pretty cool. I, li I like the little buttons on his outfit here. 
So there you go, Jack and Vampire Teddy. This is the first Jack that I just was talking about. One of the first Jacks I got. Kind of prefer the face on that one. And this is my Jack that won't stand. He's got the uh, the um, snowflake in his hand, but he won't stand. He just won't do it. What? Oh my God. Nobody move a muscle. Let's get this. Oh, this is risky business. Oh, there you go. He's standing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, as always, we contradict ourselves on Eddie's Toy Box. But uh, I feel like I shouldn't talk as loud or he'll fall. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a like. That's a sideways thumb. But you know, thumbs up. Um, follow us. Uh, well, actually, like us. Like the video. Comment on it if you want to. Subscribe for more if you want to. Um... Uh, look for me on Instagram at ESBJO underscore figs. Follow me on both Facebook and Twitter at Eddie's Toy Box. Same name. Look for me on Facebook at Poppin' Off About Funko. Look for my column on popvinyls.com every Thursday night. A link for everything I just mentioned is down there in the description, so you don't even have to worry about all of it. Just click one of the links down below to take you to other things. And as always, be kind to one another, have a great day, and free the pops. We are out of here. Thank you.